Alright people, welcome back to the channel. I'm Aiden, and today we are finally watching the season finale. Season 2, episode 10 of Always Sunny in Philadelphia. It's been a, a long time coming actually. You know, I've really taken my time with this show. Obviously a lot of distractions in real life. So it, uh, it has been very, very slow getting through it. But here, here we are though. Finally at the end of season 2. And I have to say, I have really enjoyed the journey so far. I, I was not led astray. People were saying it was a great show. Obviously, I went into uh, making these videos for Austin and Philadelphia fairly blind. All I knew about it is what I read online on Reddit, where people were saying it was the most consistently rated show. Or American sitcom. I mean, through my life, obviously, I've heard memes and stuff about the show and people referencing it. Like, I used to watch a podcast called Painkiller Already, and some of the people on there used to always talk about it. Obviously, I used to zone out because I didn't even know what it was. In fact, I'm not even sure if Swiss in Philadelphia even made it to TV in the UK. If it did, I definitely wasn't watching TV during that, I guess, the time slot, ain't it? Late night time slot, a kid ain't gonna get access to TV. So last episode, obviously Charlie went all American on people's asses. That was the, uh, the premise, at least. Where the gang were arguing about freedom. There's freedom of speech, freedom of expression. You know, freedom is a massive topic or talking point in America right now, ain't it? I guess it's always has been. The country's founded on the, that idea. So a lot of you take it very, very seriously. As we saw with Dennis wanting the freedom to blow smoke in people's faces, because that is America. The ability to do whatever you want, whenever you want. Which I agree with, in reason. Although, with the gang, I'd say it's probably best to go the complete opposite direction. Take away their freedoms. They, they don't deserve any of it. For two seasons straight now, we've seen them just spiral into despicable people and everyone around them is bad. Frank, bad. Their mum is bad. I guess, well, Charlie's mum seems fine. You know, she seems like a sweet old lady. But apart from that, every other character is bad. We've had the cafe girl who is batshit crazy. We've got the twins who have sex with their sister and perhaps each other. I'm not sure. He, even the priest, you know, you people keep saying uh, the rickety cricket. He was still stupid for all his decisions he made. So while he, at the very least at this point, isn't as bad as them, he still ate shit so he could kiss a girl. Right, mentally you have to be far gone for that to even happen, so. But yeah, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like rating and comment down below what you thought about this show so far. And if you had to rate this show, where would you put certain episodes? Like which is your favorite episode out of these first two seasons and which is your worst episode? I think that'd be interesting to know. I think my favorite episode so far Probably would be you know, Mac Bangs, Dennis's mum, or maybe the $100 baby one. I know I was uh, laughing and cringing quite a lot at that. See, I I'm struggling to come up with the worst episode. Obviously, I've enjoyed it all, really. I say, if I had to choose, it might be the underage drinking one in season one. I don't know if I was it just a bad day or what, but. I think that was definitely the weakest episode out of the two seasons so far. But yeah, let me know what you think. All right, let's get into this. I revamped my MySpace page, but Dennis keeps criticizing every movie. MySpace? Jesus, this is old. <laughs> it is, that. yeah, it's crazy hearing about it. It's been many, many, many years. I think MySpace was a small generation just previous to mine. I know my brother. Had a, uh, a MySpace and a Bebo. And I've just been blowing him off, but he's saying that he's our dad. Awesome, crazy person, let me see. No, not awesome, because look at the pictures he's sending. Oh, oh, look at 
Look at that. That's your mom, dude. Oh, wow. He, li he, he literally might have another dad. Oh, God. I mean, to be fair, it's a Frank. <laughs> it might be a good idea to uh, replace Frank, to be honest. This guy's not our dad. I don't know. This is really freaking me out. I mean, it, it, it could be. I mean, your mum sleeps around with everyone. Having brown eyes, black hair, and being four foot ten. <laughs> that is a good point. Both of these guys are pretty tall, really, aren't they? I wonder how Frank's going to take this, then. Like, does he know? Is this just a coincidence that this man just happens to have pictures of them all together? Or at least him and their mother? Interesting. Interesting. So it's actually just going to replace <laughs> Frank. Well, it doesn't really have anything to do with respect. I just wanted to take you to a fancy place so that you would behave yourself. Yeah, I don't think that's going to work, is it? Frank's not the type of person to rein himself in because of the people who are around. No, that's <laughs> disgusting. Nah, yeah, it is. Stay away from that kind of thing. No good can come of it, trust me. I mean, after all the shit they're pulled, I imagine they probably uh, played around a little bit, you know? Getting pulled into any sort of perverted sex talk. It's not perverted. <laughs> Banging your sister is perverted, Dennis. Not... Hey, shut up. Shut up. You're in public. God, can you just sit, please? There's four dumbasses sitting around a table. And he's claiming to be our biological father. We just wanted to ask the question and just get it out of the way. There's a chance this Shit. guy could be our father? No, yes, he is your father. Shit. What a cold bitch. Absolute cunt. Fine, fine, fine. Everybody settle down. It's not the end of the world. It is. It is the end of the world. For you. Long story short, he got me pregnant and I had to make a decision. Seeing as he had no money, I decided that the best thing for everyone was if I didn't tell Bruce and let your father think that the twins were his. Yeah, just lied to everyone involved, right? That's the best solution to the problem. Go back to the episode with gun fever. Put a bullet in her. F finish her off. I can't believe this. I just can't believe this. Hey, Dad, keep your you whore. Keep it <laughs> yeah, yeah. Make, make the biggest scene you want, Frank. Did you bang my wife? Huh? Did you bang my whore wife? Does anybody here have any? No one say yes. Please, no one say yes. And I should know about Jesus, Frank. Jesus, Jesus, Frank. Jesus, Frank. Jesus, Frank. Jesus. <laughs> He's having a mental breakdown, and I don't blame him. I don't blame him. Gotta get stabbed! Somebody gotta get stabbed! Oh, uh, the heart attack. She's literally killed Frank. Right. So, so the end of Frank now then. You see. Smuggling. I got right. a little business I've been running in here the last couple of years. I was thinking of expanding and I'm gonna need some people on the outside, some Really badass, tough guy. I'm that great guy. And both of those people, Charlie and Mac, definitely believe they are badass guys. Right. Smuggling heroin through your anus. Ooh. I've got a feeling Charlie has experience with this. I just think you need to tuck it in in the back. In the Come back, on. Yeah, Looking at Mexican gangsters. <laughs> with the uh, bandana. The top button as well. You know oh, 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 Frank, what's going Jesus on? Jesus Christ. Happened? I had a minor stroke. No big deal. No, I, I agree with his reason to be angry. I do. I do. I just, I can't believe what a miracle this is after all these years. He seems like a normal guy, but where? It's got to be something bad. I met your mom here in, uh, in Philadelphia. It was just before I shipped off to Alaska with Greenpeace. I do a lot of environmental work mm. and, and work with kids, mm -hmm. and we were not- They're gonna fall in love with him. The best dad ever. This is my adopted family. Oh. You adopted them? Yep. In fact, huh. um, hello. Those are your brothers and sisters. Oh. 
<laughs> I've got a feel. I've got a feeling they don't. They don't like that, do they? Sweet's got to go wrong with him. He's spending all this time on helping other people. Why? That's the reason. I've got a feeling. What are you? What are you doing with your lives? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Chapters kinds in that of, book. I want to hear any. There's one chapter and it's called Being Cunts. Yeah, yeah. I mean, to be fair, they did do the uh, ser community service, didn't they? Help the underprivileged kids. And both of them just seemingly wanted the black kids on their team. I'm sure for non nefarious reasons, right? Save the children. Save the children. Of course, this is a song he chooses to sing. It's going to be a pedophile or something, right? It's going to be something really bad. I just don't believe that there can be a good character on this show. It's not possible. Ladies and gentlemen, sometimes the father has a privilege of playing a little music with his daughter. Would you please welcome Deandra Reynolds? Oh god, is she gonna sing? Oh, ha, ha. I believe the children are our future. Okay. Now wasn't as bad as I thought it was gonna be. But. If I fail, if I succeed, at least I live as I believe. Yeah, it is it's not great. It is it's grating, right? It's grating. I mean actually, yeah. The man does look a lot like them, to be fair. I mean, they've got the same chins, right? We owe this to him. This guy banged Frank's wife. So did you? Yeah, but it's different. <laughs> I don't know, dude. Try to focus. Oh, no, no, no. <gasps> there they are. There they are. Just. I mean, why isn't Frank getting involved for starters? Surely he's the one who wants to actually get the get the revenge, don't he? I don't know. Oh my Let's god! Go. Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> Walking like that as well. <laughs> Max is pissed off. He's just completely pissed off. Can I help you? Yeah. Can I help you? Can I help you? <laughs> it's the glue. You must be the glue. It's completely free stuff. Um. <laughs> what the fuck's he doing? It's okay. It's okay. I got it. <laughs> it's not really a good picture, is it? One awkward bastard. Oh, that's horrible. That's horrible. There's nothing hard about them right now. But someone got what happened? Everywhere. What happened? We bashed it. Oh, we bashed it so good. We bashed it. No. <laughs> oh, they seem to run over. Is that what's? Okay, no, okay, good. Okay. My God, you still look amazing. Wow. And why are they all in the hospital right now? Father, wealthy. I never knew. I guess it never came up. <laughs> hey, if she, if she knew, yeah, bitch. So she sees the dollar signs, right? Oh, yeah, let's just put these on. Mate, this is not the group you want to take in to see sick children or whatever. They've never cared about anyone other than themselves in their entire life. Well, what if he doesn't get better? You're going to look like a fool. Mom, i got to say I agree with Dee. I mean, the kid's going to die anyway. What difference does it make? Hey, move the fuck away. Move away from him. I'm not sure I understand what you mean. Well... Listen, it's one thing to rock out, raise some cash, but it's a totally yeah. different thing to put our lives at risk. Oh, yeah, I mean, there's all these diseases uh, floating around in here. Your lives at risk? Jesus. I mean, if they're infectious, surely they're not going to be in this room with uh, ten of the kids, are they? I'd imagine it's mostly cancer and things like that. Yeah, leukemia. Just really proves who they are, right? I'm going to jump right back on the horse. So I contacted that woman on MySpace who claimed that we had a one night stand. Turns out she's single and ready to go. Okay, who is this gonna be? No! You're just gonna put him back into the depression. 
Don't daddy me. You blew your chances with this daddy. You're dead to me. No, just listen. <laughs> I don't blame him. I don't blame him. We've decided to forgive you and to allow you to be our father again. Forgive you? You're going to forgive him? Forgive him for what? He's been lied to just as much as you have. Charlie. What? Hey, Mom. What are you doing here? I'm confused. Do you no. live here? No. Yeah. No. No. Frank! No. <laughs> no. <laughs> the sweet old lady I thought she was. It's not true anymore. I had a one night stand with 30 years ago. Yeah. Yeah. It's no. I just had a one night stand 30. 30 years ago. Is that Charlie's daddy? No. <laughs> Dad? Dad? No. He's <laughs> having a stroke. <laughs> I think he did. I think he did have another stroke. What are the chances that would happen right then? Ugh. Okay, so that was episode 10 of It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia Season 2. And it was a, a good finale, I think. And that twist at the end, it still got me shocked, honestly. This entire time I've been convinced that Charlie's mum is this innocent, sweet old lady. It turns out there's a good chance that Charlie might be the bastard son of Frank because of a one night stand 30 years ago. Um, life is a lie. I don't, I don't, I don't want to believe it. I don't want to believe it. That would probably explain why Charlie is so crazy, right? So I, I, I did think about that. That Charlie is batshit and his mother seems to be, like I said, a sweet old lady. So it doesn't seem to come from her. So it, it would have to come from the dad's side. So if it was... I wonder how Frank is actually going to react to that. Does that mean Frank gets back together with Charlie's mum? And you know, she's going to be more into the story and get absolutely destroyed by Frank right now. I don't know. But honestly, that's going to be absolutely heartbreaking to learn after raising your children for 30 years, you finally find out that the mother of those children, your wife for that period of time, lied about the origin of the kids and they're not actually yours. Your entire life has been living a lie. I, I, can, I can easily imagine something like that could you know, send you over the edge. I mean, even if you can get past the fact, you know, those kids are your kids. They might not be biologically your kids, but they're raised to your standard. They treat you as a dad. You treat them as kids. But in the back of your head, surely there's always going to have to be that salty side, right? That they are a result of a lie and your whoring wife. Honestly, thinking about it, I'm surprised it did take them so long to actually question whether that was the case. They know the mother sleeps around all the time. That's the type of person she is. And just the way Frank looks, you know, Dee called it out, didn't she? How they don't look anything like Frank. Frank is four foot nothing. And both of those, Dee and Dennis, seem to be fairly tall, fairly slender. You know, pointed chins and all sorts. They looked exactly like a splitting image of their real dad. So I do wonder, was that the dad of Dennis? Was that, was that their real dad? Or his, his real dad? 
They, they did look pretty similar. Same, different generations, obviously, but... Interesting. And as for Charlie and Max's side of the story, how they wanted to become hoodlums, I mean, it was obvious. They just do not fit that description. They're not good people, but they're definitely not hard. And just like Archer would say, you know, <laughs> phrasing. So like they had no awareness of what they were saying. I'm so hard right now, I'm so hard right now. I'm gonna stick it up the ass. Yes, yeah, saying to Max, Dad, <laughs> I'm gonna get so hard for you, we're gonna be so hard for you. I don't think that's something you should be saying to anyone, really. I'm going to get hard for you. Oh god. And as we saw, they chickened out when it came to attacking Dee and Dennis's dad. They walked straight up to them, really trying to be as hard as possible. And as soon as they reached him, Mac ran away, leaving Charlie in this very awkward position. I'm just standing there face to face, not knowing what to do. And all he could fathom was to snap a picture and then just, just wander away. I'm assuming the dad probably originally maybe thought they were going to mug him or something, but maybe he was, he was a deranged fan of sort that wanted to take his photograph. He just didn't have any social awareness. But yeah, that was fun. Thank you for sticking with me for these first two seasons of Always Sunny in Philadelphia. I will be jumping straight into season three as soon as possible. Make sure you leave a like rating if you enjoy this reaction. And like I said at the beginning, let me know in the comment section what you thought about this episode and where would you rate certain episodes? What is your favorite episode and which is your worst episode so far after the first two seasons? Also, subscribe and stay up to date with when I upload the next one. Alright, cheers.